Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Datasphere Overview Training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episode, we talked about how to use SAP Datasphere to basically include a remote data sources in your existing views and replace your local data sources with remote data sources from HANA, S4 HANA or BW system. Our today's topic for this session is how to provide currency conversion in a analytic model inside SAP Datasphere. Currencies plays very critical role, especially when you want to report data for planning or dashboard in a common currency. You cannot sum up the heterogeneous currencies together like USD, Euro, INR, JPY, EU1, right? You would want to convert everything in a common currency for reporting purpose and then you should you want to create the reports to display aggregated data. So we will learn how can we add currency conversion. As a prerequisite, I have already imported all the currency tables and data flows from my S4 HANA system in my Datasphere account. Before we start today's class, please smash the like button. Kindly share this video in the WhatsApp group of your company. So many colleagues of yours can also take an advantage of this video to learn basics of Datasphere. So let's get started. So we are here now in an analytic model where we are going to perform the currency conversion. So we open the analytic model and here we have the gross amount items and its corresponding currency code that item currency key. So now I will go ahead and add a currency conversion in the analytic model in SAP Datasphere. I click on plus button and I choose create a currency conversion in the source measure i will be choosing our gross amount items in the target currency i will right now hard code it to euro yes i can hard code it to euro for time being so let me put euro then in the reference date i will put today's date i can also pass here a dimension or I can also choose current date formula. So as you all know that the currency exchange rates are keep fluctuating on everyday basis. You can put here a dynamic current date property which will eventually pass every day. It will change the date. You don't have to come to the analytic model and change it every day. Then we put the exchange rate type. I will probably choose the M which is a fixed rate type. This is something which will be a setting provided to you by the functional team in your company. So click select. Client is 800. In case there is an issue during currency conversion, let's say exchange rates are not found, what to do? We can set it to null or we can set, set it to unconverted or we can also throw an error. So this is a setting which we can choose according to our convenience or the requirement in our company. Fantastic. We are done. Let me just save and deploy my analytic model. Once I deploy our analytic model, straight ahead I will be able to go back and see the converted amount. Yes. So you see the name of the new measure is called currency conversion measure. You see this is the new measure which has been created. This measure will be showing the amount of the total gross sales items in the euro currency so a new measure have been introduced in the analytic model which i will go ahead and be able to consume it also in the analytics cloud now so i will switch over back now straight ahead to analytics cloud and here is where i will add a chart once more we will select our space and the user from data sphere And then we will be, of course, choose our analytic model from Datasphere. All right. So let's go ahead and choose a measure. And wow, look at that currency conversion measure. So one measure we have is the uh, gross total item gross amount. And another is the converted amount. Yes, the converted amount. So if we put both of them parallelly, you can see the actual gross amount is coming in the US dollar. 
which is 3682633 dollar whereas the currency converted measure amount you can see the symbol already over there as euro symbol 3391006 just to give an estimate yes you can also uh, check on the google the rates and then you can see uh, this particular dollar is how much euro all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on sap data sphere sap analytics cloud sap btp ui5 fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud so do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com also shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of sap with that anubav signing out once again thank you so much and i will see you in my next episode